November 2nd. The time is 16, 54 hours. Uh, PB1502581. This will be an interview with accused David Jeffrey Tuck. So I have a couple things here, Dave. First of all, I just want to go over a couple things with you. Okay. Okay. Um, just so you know, we're being uh, audio, audio and videotaped. Videotape by that camera, audio tape by the microphone on the ceiling, okay? I'm just going to read you a secondary caution, okay? Just want to let you know that if you've spoken um, with any police officer or if any such person has spoken to you in connection with, with, with this case, I don't want to influence you in making any statement, okay? Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So, um, you've talked with legal aid or duty counsel. Duty counsel. Duty counsel. Okay. And uh, you're satisfied with that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, I was talking with you uh, earlier. Um, your wife spoke to me and gave me a statement. Okay. And uh, that's what uh, that's why we're here, obviously now. Um, basically, uh, as you can see, I have a lot of banking information. Okay, um, Dave, I have your bank account. I have the Peter Rohuskies bank account, and I have Kathy's bank account. Okay, um, this is a chance for you to kind of uh, come clean and give me your side. Um, I like to I like to hear everybody's side of the story okay um, like I said Kathy did already give me her side okay which is one of the reasons why we're here right now with a, a charge of fraud over 5,000 as opposed to fraud under 5,000 you understand that okay so who are the Peter Peter Rohuskies to you Dave the special needs sports organization okay and why are they so important to you Dave Tuck Started. You found it. it. was my, well, it was our idea. Yeah. Awesome. It, it's, you know, they help special needs kids play sports. Right. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And uh, just as a member of this community, I see you guys everywhere. You guys are out there. Uh, you got the kids out there. And it's not just kids, it's adults, too, if I'm, if I'm correct, right? Our, our age range is 5 to 85. Nobody gets turned away. Right. Like that's that's pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. I mean, we're sitting here today. You're sitting in in the basement of a police station, talking to a police officer. So, Dave, in, in my eyes, I'm not judging you. Okay, I'm not sitting here going, "How could you do this? What were you thinking? All this kind of stuff." What I'm here today to do is, Dave, like, where did this go wrong? You know, why did why did we do what we did? Right. So that's why we're here today. Um, you guys obviously have a great heart. Okay, I talked to your kids briefly today. Seemed like great kids. You raised two good kids there, right? Yeah, they did most of that. Okay. I spent well, most of my time working. Okay, okay. But I'm pretty sure, you know, you don't even need to be that humble. I'm pretty sure you uh, definitely, uh, you definitely did have a, uh, you know, I mean, just chat with Chris there for a short, pe brief period of time. Yeah. You're a good young man there. Well, he's a good kid. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 
And of course, with Jeffrey with his autism. What a what a nice kid. Uh, from what he's come from, huge change. Like, uh, um, we had people tell us uh, you know, and when he first got diagnosed, uh, taken to a uh, facility, drop him off, and leave him. You'll never be able to deal with it. Really. And what he does today is that's amazing. Phenomenal. It's amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. And Chris has a love of cars, it looks like, just from uh, when we when we pulled up today, he was under the hood. Yeah, he's got that from me. That's, that's what he does, that's yeah. from you, eh? One of, my, one of my spare jobs is I work at a Peterborough Speedway. Right. Um, and you, you are, you mentioned you mentioned how uh, Kathy pretty much raised the kids because because you were working all the time. You, you're you a hard worker. You, you you hold down three jobs. If I, well, if I'm, I'm down to one right now. Okay. Because it is winter. Okay, yeah. Um, so the paper one, is that the one that's on hold, or what's on hold? Oh, no, I gave that one to Chris. You gave that one to Chris? So he'd have a job. And so the Speedway's one you're talking about because it's winter. It's winter, and that one's done. Right. That one's just a, a, a weekend fun job. Totally. Barely and hey, it. someone's going to give you some money for it. Uh, right? Yeah. All right. Exactly, it's, right? It's only $40, $40 for the night, but... It's $40 extra dollars, right? Yeah. Right. I love the child, that one. Absolutely it is. Yeah, and if someone's going to give you a little bit of extra coin for it, why not, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, so um, RBC, there's a Huskies account. Yes. And there's a Dave Tuck account, and then there's Scotia Bank. There's a Catherine Tuck account. Yes. Okay. According to the records that I have, you and Kathy are both uh, co-signers yes. of the Peter Huskies account, both being co-founders. Is that is that right? Yes. Okay. Nobody else has signing authority. Chris Williams? No. No? No. Okay. Um, and I believe Chris Tuck is now a co-founder as well. We, he, Chris named the team and designed the logo. Cool. Uh, it was a family thing. We sat down. They, I had coached for the other team for, for two years. Okay. We saw, because of Jeffrey, we saw him coming up through the system. Kathy spent all her days... Excuse me. Yeah. Spent all of her days with Jeffrey in school, coming up through the system, yeah. trying to get him an EA. Could she didn't want to leave him alone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once he was diagnosed. Okay. Yeah. Um, so working with the other team, Chris had been with the other team for four years. Okay. I'd been with them for two years, yeah. but we had met a lot of people that were, didn't know anything about it, and we knew there was room for another team. Okay. We knew there was enough kids to go around for everybody. Yeah. Um, and Kathy wanted to start, Kathy had mentioned to me a few times, why don't we start our own team? Why don't we do this? Yeah. Well, before I said yes, I needed to know that I was 100% into it. Right. Okay. Yeah. And after spending two years with the other team and, and meeting these kids that they had on their organization, yeah. how special they were, how good they are, and knowing they're like the kids said, I go into the schools where Jeffrey went to and Chris, and not seeing any of them in that organization, I knew there's a whole new world for it. Right. You know, there's a whole new, and there is, and we've proven that over three and a half years of being organized. Yeah. That that there is for sure. They have their um, 64 families, I believe. We have our 40 to 50 some odd families, um, just in our hockey program. Yeah, that's just one of. I think 12 programs so you know once I was into it for a hundred percent then I went to Kathy and said let's do this yeah and I knew I knew it would grow yeah. but I didn't expect it to grow this fast okay it wasn't like you know that many kids that short a period of time and the community knowing about it so yeah. well well you had something special going right that's what people saw and yeah. that's what that's what attracts people right exactly. to stuff like that yeah but we didn't, we didn't like we didn't attract them for this. No. This is not what you, what? No. I, and I, it just, uh, I'm lost for words okay. at the amount you came with. Yeah. I am, I'm totally okay. lost for words because it, I, I know a lot of that isn't, isn't, or shouldn't be there, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. As far as uh, the stuff we paid cash for. Doesn't show on our books. Okay. Doesn't show anywhere. Okay. So I know it wasn't. I like. Uh, I just know it wasn't that amount. Okay. So you registered as a not for profit, right? Nonprofit. Right. So you 
are not a charity, so you can't issue any charitable receipts. Is that correct? Uh, to my understanding, we can or, uh, issue receipts to the families. For the tax benefit for the recreation. For the recreation. Right. That so if someone was to donate off the top said, hey, Dave, you know what? You're doing a great job here. Here's $1,000. That person couldn't get a receipt, right? We, we did not issue receipts right. for that $1,000 okay. because yeah. we, that we could not do. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, so basically, um, when the whole Bewley thing hit the paper back in February, that you owed the Bewley Arena money and all that kind of stuff, okay? Um, you know, that's when sort of stuff started to spiral, like where's where's the money going and stuff like that, okay? Kind of our investigation starts going with that, okay? Um, so, I end up getting bank records for um, for yourself and Peter Hoskins and Kathy, and one thing I noticed right off the hop is there are over 40 email e-transfers that come from Husky parents, if you will, yes. and they end up in your personal account. That uh, we did not have the Husky's account set up for e-transfer, yeah. so we have them transfer it to me, yeah. and then I would Okay. We, I, it, it would actually end up paying um, okay. Husky bills with it. I'd okay. I am going to suggest, though. I, I have. I thought of that as well. And so when I looked at your um, bank account, I did notice um, that a lot of the time that money didn't go back into the Huskies. It did, wasn't withdrawn and put it into the Huskies account. There was some withdrawals, but it didn't happen all the time. No. Okay. Just say no. Okay. Yeah. And, no, and, and know that I know that. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm the not. Thing, to, the thing about stuff, stuff like this is bank statements. They pretty much show everything. Yes. Okay. And I'm not trying to hide anything. I, right. Like I said, it's like right. We, uh, a lot of stuff. Um, some of our programs we pay cash for. Yeah. So I, yeah, I will we'll take it out of my account and go pay cash for those. The other thing about cash, and I mentioned this to Kathy is as a not-for-profit organization, by law, you need to keep receipts for any purchases, you need to keep a ledger and an account log, okay, for all that money, because you're dealing with other people's money, Dave. You're not dealing with Dave and Kathy Tuck's money. You're dealing with Lorraine Greer, Linda Lawrence, uh, Valerie Henry, Clarissa Ruquart, Moira Steven, Valerie Henry, you know, Lynn Black, Alicia, and the names go on and on and on. That, these are the people you're dealing with. You're dealing with their money, okay? And in the beginning, the intention was there. I get it. But over time, it's like, well, I could, I could use this money right now in my life. So you do, thinking maybe down the road you might replace it or whatever, but according to the records, you just never do, okay? So there was that. There was the e-transfers that came yes. in from the player's parents for such things as um, registration costs or a clothing cost, stuff like that, and into your account, okay? Um, the other one, too, is that happened to Ka Kathy's, not as much as yours, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know that because this seemed to surprise you about amounts, okay? Yeah. $9,162.80 was e-transferred to the Peterborough Huskies and into your account, okay? And like you said, some of the stuff did get paid to that, but that's how fast that adds up. Yeah. $9,162.80 into Dave Tuck's account. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't take long for... No, I... I for I, I, $30 yeah. here, 200 there, stuff like that adds I, up fairly know, quickly, I, I, okay? Okay. The other thing too is um, for the Peterborough Huskies account, um, you guys paid a lot of your stuff um, by check. Yes. Okay, that I see here. Okay, um, you know if you entered the Canada Parade, you paid a hundred dollars by check. Um, Binkley Toys Incorporated, one hundred fifty-two dollars and fifty-five cents by check. John Sign, City of Peterborough, Darning Insurance, Kids Carnival. Um, 
you know, James Todd, John Signs again, rental of St. James Church, the rental of the Quarth of Pine Ridge District School Board, um, John Signs again, all paid by cash, or sorry, check, check, okay? So it started to kind of red flag me when I saw as many cash withdrawals as I started to see, okay? So, um, and again, over a three year period, they add up real quick. Okay. Two years, yes. So, 21st of August 2013, $827 withdrawal of cash. 23rd of August, okay, two days later, $275 of cash. September 24th, $270 of cash. October 15th, 2013, $250 cash. October 3rd, or 23rd, $300 cash. So, back in 2013, when you first started, there was a lot of cash withdrawals and stuff like that. Um, but as the years went on, okay, there was um, a few that kind of, um, you know, sparked my interest, such as 27th of March, a $600 uh, cash um, withdrawal, and then four days later, on the 31st of March, $508 cash withdrawal. And that's that's $1,108 in four days. Yeah, that's. Do you know what I mean? Like, where in four days does the Peterborough Huskies need to pay that much money when we're paying for all this other stuff by check? Why do we have a cash withdrawal? And then have have you guys say, I don't know where it went because I don't have a receipt, because I didn't uh, put it in a, in a ledger, I didn't put it on a spreadsheet, I didn't do that stuff. It just can't happen when you're dealing with other people's money, Dave. Yeah. You understand that? It just can't happen. Okay, um, and then October, or sorry, April 16, 2014, and 21st of April, 2014, a total of uh, $840 cash in, in, in a short amount of time like that, okay? Yeah. Um, and I can go on and on and on. I'll, oh, I'll you got lots of paper. I do. Uh, welcome to, this is the this is life of a fraud officer, okay? Yeah. and. You know what? I'm, I, I was telling Kathy, I've I've um, I spent a better better time frame of about a year on this. Okay, almost a full year. Okay, so um, and this is what you know, going through all this by line by line, everything. Okay, hoping I'm not going to find. If you're sitting here thinking, oh, I hope I find stuff on them, you're wrong. Okay, because I believe in yours and Kathy's hearts that you guys started this program. For those kids okay so I'm actually hoping when I'm going through this stuff I'm not gonna find stuff which is kind of backwards when you think about what a police officer should be doing I'm hoping I'm not gonna find stuff and I did okay stuff like on June 3rd 2014 $700 cash four days later on the 7th of June $400 cash that's $1,100 in four days withdrawn in cash meanwhile you're paying all these other bills in checks out you know what I mean so I'm kind of sitting here going like and then the same month on the 26th another three hundred dollars cash okay so there's there's just so much and this grand total of cash out in three years is thirty two thousand three hundred forty seven dollars in cash that you guys don't have receipts for you don't have a ledger for you don't have any it's just gone Keith, I, we, I'm telling you, we spent it on the, we, I promise you, we spent it on the Huskies. There's no proof that you did, though. Yeah, I know. I, and I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know where, where it went. Like, I, I don't have anything, anything to show for it. Yeah. 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 No, I, uh, I'm with you. Um, well, another thing I want to point out to you here, Dave. On the 11th of February 2014, $100 cash is withdrawn from the Huskies account. On the 11th of February 2014, $100 cash is deposited into Dave Tuck's account. Same day. Dave, when I first saw that, I went, coincidence. This has to be a coincidence. Okay? That's what I first thought. We're talking 100 bucks here. Dave got a hundred bucks from somewhere and decided to put it in. No big deal. 
That's what I'm thinking, okay? Well, Dave, and then on the 20th of February, I see $250 cash is withdrawn. On the 20th, there's $200 cash put in your account. Okay, Dave? Then on the um, 21st of April, $790 cash is withdrawn from the Husky's account. 230 ends up going into your account the exact same day. So again, maybe stuff used for the Huskies, like there's still $400, $500 outstanding from what was taken out of the account, but some put in your account. Okay? <clears throat> and I'm sorry, Dave, like this just goes on and on and on. Oh, I, okay? I, 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 um, it's, it's just one of those things where I wish it didn't. I wish I wasn't seeing what I see, but I do see it, right? So the 6th of August, 2014, $240 cash is withdrawn. Half of that, 120 is is deposited into your cash. Just so happens on the same day, okay? Um, the 23rd of September. Okay, the 23rd of September. There's uh, 200. Sorry, there's 300 dollars cash taken out on September 19th. On the 23rd, 300 dollars cash is put into your account. Okay. So there's there's just these are just never ending. And I was hoping I wouldn't see these, but I just kept seeing them over and over and over again, okay? So we right into 2015, into April, okay? And then there's another one here where there was $330 cash taken out in December. Four days later, $400 cash taken out. Five days later, $250 cash taken out. Three days later, $300 cash taken out. Those are all in a two-week span in December. What else happens in December? Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, I'm speechless. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have it. I know. I know. I'm totally sickened by all this. Like, really. I, 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 <laughs> Dave, it takes two people to withdraw from that account. Yeah, I know. I'm part of it. I, I'm not denying that. I'm part of it. Okay. okay. Um, it just. And I'm not no. saying, Dave, for one minute, that thirty-two thousand dollars that went missing was just spent on the tux. You're not driving a Porsche. You're not driving. You guys aren't living with uh, above your means, right? Mm -hmm. My goodness, that's. I think you're just doing small things here and there. I know you want to. You went on a trip to the Daytona 500. That was, um, I can tell you how much I spent there and on that. You and a buddy? Yeah. Yeah. It cost me $260 in gas to go down. Yeah. My buddy paid the hotel. Okay. I spent maybe $500. Okay. But that was money I saved up on my own. I did yeah. not spend So you're not going on elaborate trips with your wife on cruises and stuff. That and that's what I'm saying, right? So my question is, where does all this money go? Do you eat a lot? I don't. You got bills to pay at home? Well, it's the typical ones. Okay. You know, our, we got our cell phones. We got uh, we have the internet, so we can do the, the husky stuff. Yeah. Um, hydro. Yeah. You know, rent. Right. No. Get a car payment there. I have one car. Yeah, the the uh, little red convertible I got. Yeah. It was less than five hundred dollars. Yeah, hard to believe, but you, know. well, you had the Versa, the two thousand ten yeah. Nissan Versa. That was yeah. the accident, is that yeah, right? Yeah, rode off uh, St. Patty's Day Parade day. But that was you were paying three hundred and seventy-two dollars a month and some change, yeah. according to your bank records. Yeah. Right. Like I said, I have everything. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. I can write down to the penny. I can yeah. pretty much tell you what you're paying for your car. Yeah. You have insurance for your car. That's right. For the cars, yeah. yeah. So there's a, there's a lot of payments there, you know, but like like. I agree when you say you're not living above your means, but there's there's cash being spent on the tux here. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Okay. So how much do you think? Like I know you're flabbergasted by I, all the numbers I'm thrown at you. It's I'd have to like seriously sit down and go over them myself and, and what I can remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's just it. It's like, what can I remember? I had a bad memory to begin with. So I'd say, you know, um, 
yeah, I, there, there's times where it's, you know, I, I have my full trust in Kathy and I throw my autograph on there. Okay. You know? Yeah. But, you know, we go together and, and pay the bill, yeah. and, uh, be the Husky bill or the Tuck bill. Okay. okay. On the 19th of May, 2015, $1,320 cash went missing. Well, not went missing, was withdrawn, I guess, sorry. Sorry, how much? $1,320 on the 19th of May, 2015. 19th? Like, that's quite a withdrawal. That is. And why? why so let's back up a bit because um, on the 7th of April, Costco made a $5,000 donation that was uh, put in the account. And right after the Costco $5,000 donation went in there, you ready for this? The 11th of April, $100 cash withdrawn. 14th of April, $350 cash withdrawn. 18th of April, $250 cash withdrawn. 21st of April, $130 cash withdrawn, 24th of April, $350. So right there you're looking at $1,200 and then the next month $1,320 cash. So you're looking at in that, since the Costco one went in there, and that wasn't this past year's Costco, that was the year before's Costco, because there's yes. two Costco checks for $5,000. Yes. You're looking at right after that went in there, that $5,000 went in there, Dave, within a month, Okay, maybe a month and, and two weeks, so six weeks. There's about twenty-four hundred dollars in cash withdrawals. That's, a, that's pretty big. Was there anything you? That's substantial. Do you remember? I, I know that went towards husky bills and paid cash. I, I know there's sometimes Kathy would write checks yep. and ask them to hold it, and when we get cash in, she just go and buy the check back. Okay, which is a huge mistake. Because then there's no record. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I know exactly what you're saying. So, I, I so I, I know we did that a lot of times, and I remember that's what we did there. But there's we went and paid cash for these checks, but like again, no paper trail, no record of it, because those checks would would have been destroyed. Not. So are you backing up and saying that all the cash withdrawn is all going towards the Huskies? Because Dave, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it's not okay, and I and I and I have evidence to prove that. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to believe that part of that is? I do. But if I marry this up to your account, I know some cash deposits are going into your account. Okay. Yeah. Uh, July seventh, two thousand fifteen. July thirteenth, two thousand fifteen, and July twenty first, two thousand fifteen. A total of twelve hundred and seventy-five dollars in cash taken out there in a two-week period. We're not talking. We're not talking jump change here, are we? No, you're talking thirty-two thousand dollars over three years. Right. Right. That's that's like and nothing to show for it. That's two years of my paycheck. Yeah, my yeah, my what I take. What you take home from call account, right? Yeah. This one floored me a bit as well. Um, the same date that um, Costco gave money this year, the 7th of uh, March 2016, uh, $1,600 cash was taken out right away, and then $800 cash. So again, $2,400 cash in, in uh, two days after a $5,000 check from Costco goes in. I, I got nothing I paid for at that amount. I got like I say, all I can all I can say until I, you know, I, I sit down, go over this, find out what what we spent on us and what we spent on the Huskies. Other than that, I have no idea what the, what the amounts were. Um, on June. 1st, 2016, a $615 check from the Rotary Club in Bridge North. I think that was for the Polar Plunge, Kathy said? Yes. The date that was deposited for $615, $615 cash was withdrawn. I've been taking the pay bill because I, I, 
I know that one because that's uh, where they sent the check to the wrong person. The wrong person called it back, or they had to do it. And we ended up getting the check late. Okay. And we went out and paid off a check that was, like I said, you know, gone out, paid off a check that was being held by a zone for the hustlers. Okay. Yeah. So you're telling me every time money comes in, you guys go out and pay bills right away? Even though there's bills being paid by checks, right? Why did you guys start paying bills with cash again? Instead of checks? Well, like I say, so Kelly, Kelly likes to pay cash you know, on a check that, you know, um, she'll write them a check and if, you know, because we have this money coming in, it was like that 650. Yeah. It was expected on a certain date. Okay. So, you know, write a check for that date and then if it didn't come in the day before, she would contact them. Yeah. As soon as I get that money, come in and pay you, can I get the check back? Okay. So what about... No, that's not. Anyway. What about the um, money owed to the Hamilton Township Rec Recreation Department for the Beaudley Arena? They're still out that money. Yes. But around that same time, Costco gave you a check for $5,000. So should that not have covered that almost? I believed it should have. But you're telling me that five thousand dollars from Costco went to pay other bills first yeah I don't know like, it, it's uh, I'm not in full knowledge of what timeline bills were okay okay yeah so for me to answer that question I couldn't answer it correctly okay. that's just uh, like, I, I'm not trying to dodge or anything okay. I just don't know the timelines I okay. don't know the correct answer and then you guys got a bunch of trophies made um, at uh, Austin Trophies? Yes. Okay. And when you went and picked them up, there was no money in the account, so Kathy wrote three post-dated checks, is that correct? Yes. Because the final bill was $1,887.16. Okay. Okay. So one post-dated check was for March 31st, 2016 for $500. The second one was for April 30th, 2016 for five hundred dollars, and the third one was for the thirty-first of May, 2016 for eight hundred eighty-seven dollars and sixteen cents, which makes up the full one thousand eight hundred eighty-seven dollars and sixteen cents, right? Okay. Okay. Comes time for the first one to be um, Cash. cashed, and Kathy says, "Don't cash that check. We'll come in with cash." Why is there cash at home, but not in the bank? Because you guys went in and paid for cash, paid with cash. We would have got it out of the bank or taken it out of my account. Okay, but hold on a second here. <clears throat> he has a check from the Peterborough Huskies yeah. account Why for not $500. Put Why not put it into the account? Yes. Okay, Dave. And he's told not to, not to cash that check because that money's not in the account we will come in and pay cash. And you did. You came in with $500 cash. Why do you have Peter Husky money, $500 cash at home that's not in that account? I, I don't know that timeline. I honestly... Okay. But I, do you see, do you see I, oh, what I'm no, dealing I, with? I, 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 I fully understand what you're dealing right. with. Right. Because I, as soon as April 30th came around, okay, it was the same same thing. It was like Groundhog Day. It was like, don't cash that check. There's no money in that account. And you came in with Chris, and Chris paid it on his debit card. Oh, yeah. Chris. Your son? My son, Chris. Yeah. yeah I didn't know about that. Okay. No clue about that. And then. Where was I? The la I don't know. I the last check. The last check for $887 for the 31st of May, again, Groundhog Day, telephone rings, don't cash that check, there's no money in the account, we're going to come in and pay cash. So of course, Garnet says, okay, you, nobody ever shows up. He emails Kathy back and Kathy says, I'll be in tomorrow, sorry about that, never shows up. This was back, when was your banquet? So this is back in May, yeah. early June, that she says she's coming in back and forth. And now we're in November, and that, that hasn't paid, been paid. 
So you guys are writing checks knowing there's not money in accounts. Which isn't right either. Well, that's a fraud. Yes. yes. Right? And I get where those trophies went. You made so many kids smile at that banquet, I bet. I bet those kids were smiling, right? But it doesn't pay the bills. It doesn't. And people in this community are running businesses in Peterborough Small, Dave. Oh, yes. Peterborough Small. This year can kill the houses. Okay. Uh, Word of mouth. Yes. Okay. Don't deal with the Huskies. They don't pay their bills. That's all it takes. Might be one of the reasons why you're supposed to be meeting with the examiner tonight. I heard, right? Well, uh, he Kathy told me about that. He hasn't so, been a fan since the get go. Well, so I, I'm not worried about Mike. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. People want answers, though, Dave. No, and they deserve answers. Right? And they do when they're when you're dealing with other people's money. And the parents deserve answers. So, Dave, sitting here right now, what? If all those parents are sitting on the other side of that camera right now, Husky's parents, what would you like to say to them? <laughs> what could I say? Uh, I don't know. Make it right. We will make it right. I say, we, weren't, we didn't do this to be fraudulent. We didn't do this to be, uh, to, to self-gain. We, we did this to help these kids. And I believe that. Happy. I believe that. I believe you guys did not start this organization to say, hey, here's here's how we can get some extra money. I, I do believe what you're saying on that one. However, when you guys are the only people who are dealing with the money, the ins and outs, there's nobody to keep you guys accountable except for Kathy to Dave and Dave to Kathy. So then it became easy because life gets difficult financially. A little bit here and a little bit there, right? What, $32,000? Right? I'm sorry, that. Uh, uh, I don't know what I just. Plus the nine that went into your account. Now, some of that did come out. I can't tell you where that. There's a couple withdrawals of cash. I can't tell you where it went. You you can't prove where it went either. Uh, okay, I definitely didn't go in the Huskies account, so I don't know if you bought stuff for the Huskies with that because you don't keep receipts. So if you want to throw 32,000 and 9,000, now we're up to what, 41? And then there are some in Kathy's as well. I mean, it doesn't take long for numbers to add up, right? And you're a not-for-profit organization dealing with other people's money. So, Dave, that, that brings me to something else here. What's going on in March 2017? The big tournament. The big tournament, yeah. Which, um, well, is totally separate from the Huskies. Because it's SHI? Because it's, well, it's, uh, we, we have separated it from the Huskies, so Separate. It's not a hus Huskies are hosting it, okay. but we have myself and Chris Williams as signers on that account, okay. and that's only money going in from teams registering and all that. Yeah. And there's no, like, I don't know. Is there any money missing from that account? No. Uh, no. No. Can you tell me why? Um, I don't think there's any in it yet. Okay. There might be. Okay. So you guys have no sponsors yet for medallions or anything like oh, that? Oh, that. But we're just uh, we're just setting that up now. Okay. Like all that's you know money we haven't even like we've got. Uh, uh, I forget the, the the hotels in Peterborough. They have a, uh, an organization. Yeah. Yeah. And they they want to stay out of it, like, but they've given us fifteen thousand dollars. Okay. We haven't accepted it yet. Okay. They haven't cut us a check or anything yet. Yeah. Um, we just, uh, last week at the SHI meeting, 
okay the uh, who we were getting the medals from. Okay. Who's doing our medals? Who's that? Uh, it's a company called Tags Inc. Okay. Nobody's like paid money. Okay. We haven't paid for it, and they haven't asked for money. And like that's just the the the, the board of SHI accepting the fact that this company won the bid to make 1,600 medals for all these kids coming. Right. Now, are you the, you're the president for SHI, Special uh, Hockey International, is that right? Special Hockey International. Special Hockey International. Yes. Sorry. Are you, do you have any signing authority for any of that stuff? No? No. Okay. The board doesn't do nothing but, uh, They don't do much anyway. So who, okay, but who's on the board of that? Uh, there's myself as president. Yep. Jim Perkins is vice president. Okay. Um, oh, come on, I'm so hard with names. Uh, there's another Jim. What's his position? I haven't even looked up it up so long. Okay. But it's all different people, right? It's not husbands yeah. and wives and stuff like that, right? Yeah, there's, well, Jim and Shauna Perkins. Uh -huh. uh, he's vice president. She's uh, secretary. Okay. They're husband and wife. Okay. They're in Ottawa. Yeah. Other gentlemen in Ottawa. Uh, Canadian reps in uh, Cambridge, U.S. rep, okay. and the U.K. rep. Okay. So is there any? Is there a, an SHI account? Yes. Okay. And who has signing authority over that? I honestly couldn't tell you. Okay. I have. But you don't. I. So getting back to my question about this SHI tournament 2017, if there was money in that account, would there be money missing from that account? No. Why? No money in it. Okay. If there was money in it, Dave, would there be money missing from that account? No. Why? I haven't been into it. Okay. But I want you to. <laughs> I, I want. I'm, I'm kind of. Yeah. I'm kind of trying to get you to to sort of say it's because Chris Williams. And you would keep each other accountable. So, yes. Do you know what I'm saying with that? Okay. Because your board of directors for the Peter Huskies, okay, and you and your wife are the only two signing authorities on that. You and your wife, who are going to go through financial up and downs together, right? Yeah. Do you understand where I'm going with this? You have no accountability. You have no accountability. Chris Williams, I'm hoping, is not involved. No. Uh, uh, but he does he know of any of this? Would he uh, would he know of any of this? I doubt it, because we don't disclose that with him. Okay. He is just a he uh, he's a board member, okay. uh, simply due to the fact that he's a head coach. Yeah. And he does a lot with the kids. Yeah. So most you know, boards, most boards of not for profit agencies have a lot more than husband and wives and sons on it, okay? We uh, we have been, you know, uh, like I say, this this grew so fast, yeah, so quickly for us, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. and I, I don't claim to be the smartest person about all this, yeah, okay, so yeah, you know, understanding that we should have more people on the board yeah. and separate signing authority, yeah. okay, mm -hmm. so that the stuff would be, you know. A is accountable to B and B is accountable yeah. to A. Yeah. And, and all this would be explainable to you. Right. Right Absolutely. down to the last penny. Right. No. You know, like, if this doesn't kill the Huskies, which I, God, I hope not, you know, it, there will be major changes okay. so that everything will be accountable. Well, that's good to hear. You know, I, Dave, that's good to I, hear. The, because we, we didn't build the Huskies up to do this. Right. No, and I... And we built the Huskies up with, to what everybody else out in the community sees. Right. Do you know that I played in the charity game against you guys at Lakefield? Yep, yeah, with the police. Absolutely. I I'm, the one who, I'm the one who organized that from this standpoint, from this service. I'm the one who got guys together and girls together, and we came out and we played against you guys. And I wore your, the jersey, time, right. your jerseys. We had the time of our life. It was awesome. It was, yeah. And, we, and we, that's what the Peter Ross Huskies is all about. Yes. And that's what we attempt to do. Right. Um, okay. The only thing, you know, what a lot of people don't know is that, uh, you know, well, people with kids in the regular hockey system know that they pay thousands of dollars to play hockey yeah. for one season. Yeah. 
we charge these kids two hundred and fifty dollars. Right. That also gets them their jersey and their socks. Right. That comes out of that money. Yeah. Plus their ice time for the season. Yeah. It nowhere near even if you know, every penny every penny is explainable. It comes nowhere near what it costs to run the organization. Kathy has taken out her pension that she got from working at Kmart back in the day. Mm -hmm. To fund this. How much would that have been, do you know? Uh, I'm thinking around ten thousand. Okay. That's how we got it started. Oh, that's yeah. And she I, uh, I know why she didn't say that to you. Yeah. Well, you know what? I, and you know what? These things do cost, right? Absolutely do. But you have to be on the up and up. Okay, you yeah, can't. We, yeah, that's you guys good. cannot take cash out of the Husky account of that other people have helped put in there and just throw it into your own account or spend it for something that you guys want to do. So this takes me to my other part, part of this. Okay, this was all stuff on here. You guys do a lot of fundraising. We, I, I'd like to say, yeah, we do a Let lot of Let me go to my fundraising list here of three yeah. pages since 2013. Yes. And this is just the stuff I found on the internet, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, hey. Okay. Trust me. So, a lot of your fundraising is cash. It's coin, it's dollars, toonies, yeah. quarters. Dimes, nickels, heck, you take pennies, right? Yeah. There's probably the odd five dollar bill and ten dollar bill thrown in there, but there's no checks. Mostly just cash. Like when you stand outside Morello, stuff like that. Yeah. People just put that in. It's called a tag day, right? Yep. Am I right? That is correct. Okay. So when I see all these dates on here of different tag days and different fundraising stuff, where do I go with these? I try to marry these dates up with the dates of the Peter Rowe Huskies bank account. And I'm hoping that I'm going to see a couple hundred dollar cash deposit here and there that are pretty similar to these dates. Give or take that these might be on weekends, so I might give you the benefit of the doubt or give them the Monday of the next week to the Friday to try and get it in the account. Okay? And I'm not going to lie to you. There was a few big ones, such as Peter Rowe Cares at Walmart, where Camille Parent is involved in that yeah. one, right? Yeah. And you guys raised uh, like $2,700, right? Three thousand. Yeah, was, that was around that, right? Yeah, that was uh, a couple years ago. Yeah, that was the first year. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, and that was in there, but there's also just other ones such as tag days that I'm just not seeing cash deposits in there. So again, cash that people in this community have given to the Peterborough Huskies is at the Tuck residence. And then when you can't pay a check because there's no money in that account, you say to Austin Trophies, don't cash that check, we'll bring cash over. And if that's cash that you guys have fundraised for, fantastic. But that cash should not be at the Tux residence in the first place. That cash should be counted by more than one person to make, it account make them accountable. And as soon as practicable, practicable, get it in your account. And then when Austin Trophies have a cash to check, or a check to cash, my fault, I'm trying to say that 10 times fast, then they can cash that check and there shouldn't be an issue. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, I, I, I understand that. Okay. So, last year, there's a haunted house on Walker Avenue. Yes. Lou Curd? Yes. Right. Lucas he did, he did it again this year. This year, the Zap attack, right? And he made a killing this year for them. Good. Way more than. Okay. Yeah. But last year, let's back up to last year, 2015. He uh, set it up on the 17th of October, the 24th, and the 30th of October, and uh, charged two dollars a person to go through his haunted house that he put together. Long story short, is he made twelve hundred dollars cash for Peter Rojaskis. Okay. Okay. So of course I go and try and marry that up to and you don't find it. And I'm not finding it. 
You got a guy here who worked his tail off. My kids went through that haunted house. They loved every second of it. They loved every second of it. They thought it was just awesome. Okay? So, you got a guy who works his tail off, okay, to raise money for a cause that's close to his heart. Okay? And turns over the cash day to you like it's, here you go, it's yours. And then it doesn't get to the Huskies. That was, that went towards his niece to play hockey. She was not charged $250 a year. She was not charged to play baseball. Okay. So it went towards the Peterborough Huskies. All $1,200 of it? I haven't got the penny amount. Okay. $250 um, for sure. Uh, whatever we charge for the baseball and whatever else programs she she got involved with, yeah. that all helped his niece. Okay, but there's yeah. nothing in writing that shows this, right? No, there's no. Nothing. That's, there's that, not. You know, so that's, what should have happened is that twelve hundred fifty dollars. So I should be able to look at your bank account and go, there it is. Yes. There is the date he had it, and there's the money in the account. And then let's figure out how we get Lucas Hurd's niece. To play for free, yeah. not let's hold on to the money. Oh, by the way, yeah. We see that's uh, Kathy's such a big heart. Our second year with the with everything coming in, and she, uh, you know, she doesn't want to charge anybody. She has a hard time charging these parents because you know they're already strapped. Yeah. A lot of these, and, and our older ones, mm -hmm. they, they're they on ODSP, they're on a fixed income. Fair enough. But they need to get out there and do an activity. Yeah. So her heart is, kids don't, these kids should not have to pay. Yeah. Let's find someone else to sponsor them, yeah. to support them. Yeah. Um, Val Henry, I mentioned her name yeah. a couple of times. Yeah. She is Rodney, uh, Marwa. 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 Yeah, no, Rodney. We all know Rodney. Yep. She is a sponsor. Okay. She pays for him to play hockey. Cool. That's where her money goes. Yeah. To Rodney. Um, she will buy him clothing. Yeah. She will go out and buy him dinner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, it, and Rodney is one of our success stories. Totally. So yeah. let's, let's back up to Valerie Henry. So what would Valerie Henry think if she finds out that the money she has e-transferred to the Peterborough Huskies ends up in Dave Tuck's account and is not taken back out to go over to the Huskies account. I don't. It, yeah, it, I don't think you have to think too hard on this one. How does Valerie Henry feel about that? Well, she wouldn't. She she would ask ask me. You know, where did it go? What okay, but we already know where it is. If she, if Valerie Henry found out that the money she e-transferred went into your account, Dave. How does Valerie Henry feel? Not asking where it went. She knows where it went. How does she feel now? I don't understand. Yeah. Okay. You so know, how does you Valerie Henry e transfers you money? It goes into your personal account, not the Huskies account where Rodney Marawa is a member. Yes. How does she feel? She would have questions. Uh, does it come uh, across? Does, does it, the answer I'm kind of looking for is pissed, mad. Angry, frustrated. If no, I not having questions, if, if I couldn't answer her her questions properly, you know, the fact that Rodney, uh, you know, not only does he get, uh, you know, he doesn't pay for his uh, um, his hockey, mm -hmm. uh, he's now into Muay Thai. Yeah, he does not have to pay for that. Right. Um, his. his Transportation to okay. and from the hospital. Okay, hold on. We're getting a little off top topic here. So my, my point to you, my point to you, Dave, is if the Peterborough Huskies bank account is not set up for e transfers, which is weird. I don't I don't know what bank account's not. But if, if you're telling me the truth, if, if if it's not, then I'm sorry. We don't accept e transfers. You have to pay, pay by either cash or check, and I would. I would caution, strongly caution, check. Yeah. 
for checks and balances purposes, right? Keep you guys honest, keep everybody off, honest, paper trail kind of thing, right? If your account is not set up for e-transfer, then we don't accept e-transfers. Because I'll tell you one thing, if my son or daughter was a part of the Peterborough Huskies and I paid $250 and I found out it went into your account, Dave, I wouldn't have questions for you. I'd be pissed at you. Uh, yeah. I'd, okay? I, is that I would, clear? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I understand the pissness. And, and I, I, I no, like, no, there's, but, there's no, there's no questions. There's not. Oh, Dave, I hope that you put that back no, in somewhere. Not, no, no, I don't, no. There's I don't, not. I don't expect you to hold. Because, because my kid belongs to Peterborough Huskies, not to Dave Tuck. Yes. So the money that these people pay, and you, you're the one who said they don't have a lot. They're on ODSP. So for them to scrounge up two hundred and fifty dollars, I can only imagine. I can only imagine what that takes for them to save that. Maybe a couple nights out a month where they used to go to the movies or something. Sorry, but guys, we can't go to the movies this month because we have hockey registration to pay for. And that ends up in your bank account. I'm sorry. It's not questions. It's I'm pissed. And, I, and Dave, and you need to think like that. You need to think. You're running, you're running an organization and you need to run it like a business. You're dealing with other people's money. You got that? You cannot... You can. You have to keep everything separate. You cannot have memberships money going into your bank account or Kathy's, and then the withdrawals. I don't know where it went. I don't know. I know it went to the Peter Huskies, but I don't know where. Okay. I know you didn't start this organization out for that, but it led to that. And it's it's gotten way out of hand. Just, uh, Give me one second, okay? I just uh, let me step out of the room for a second, and I'll be right back, okay? Much longer. Um, okay, so I think I've covered most of the stuff. The Versa was written off, right, from that accident? Yeah. Okay, okay. so, um, okay. So I know from talking with Kathy, your relationship with her hasn't been, it's been rocky, eh? worked a lot. She did at home a lot, right? Because she doesn't work. Right? You know how she said to you, you know, I I feel like I'm not doing anything, so I want to kind of help out where I can and kind of get some money for you guys. And she said, let's do this. Like, or is this just something you both have just started doing? Like taking the money from the account and put it in your account and stuff like that. I'm just trying to figure it out, Dave. 
totally, all I say on that, just because, like I'm, like I'm saying, like when when, when you see a when you see a seven hundred ninety dollar withdrawal, and then the next day, you know, three or four hundred dollars of that is put in your account, and the rest might be spent on the huskies, and the rest might be spent on stuff at home. I'm not sure. It sounds like you don't really know. Like, where does this come from? Is, is this a conversation that you and Kathy have? You're both withdrawing it. You're both you're both signing, right, to withdraw the money. Yeah. So, if she says, "Hey, we have a bill to pay. We're going to pay cash, two hundred dollars." Does it not? Like, why are we why are we getting seven hundred dollars out and then three hundred dollars ends up in your account? Like, what? You gotta walk me through it because I'm not getting it. it trust. I trust her. And she trusts me. And uh, that's our biggest downfall right there is like I say, I, you know, she, she'd tell me, you know, we're, we're going to go pay so-and-so and get the check. So we're paying cash. For that. And, and I know I keep saying that, but that's what we did a lot. And that's why I remember that. I don't know. To, I don't remember to everybody. Maybe the arenas, you know, because like there's a lot of ice time. You um, pay cash. Yeah, it's a, as far as I know, it's paid there's cash. a lot of checks to the arenas too. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't know what our total bills were, other than the, the one for the one we talked about it, uh, beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, but there's. Like going up in, in uh, um, total sportswear uh, for clothing orders. Um, go in and I, I know I've done that. Paid cash there a few times. Um, but where are the receipts for those? Where are the receipts? Because I'm sure well, a clothing company, company, a clothing company, is going to give you a receipt because they have to submit that stuff for their taxes. Yeah. I'll have to. Uh, so we can't, they can't be doing stuff under the table for you? No, no. We, we don't ask anybody to do anything no. under the table for us. No, and I wouldn't imagine any business would because in case of an audit or something like that, right? So... But there's... there's, you know, there's, there's but where do the receipts go? Do they just like... Do you just discard them? Like they're garbage? I don't do... I don't have anything to do with the receipts. I, all honestly, I don't. I, I, nothing to do with the receipts. And that's, uh, and so you are, are you saying that Kathy is the financial person for the Huskies? And and I trust I trust her. Okay. So uh, walk me through uh, walk me through a cash withdrawal. Do you both go to the bank? Yes, we both go to the bank. We mm -hmm. both stand there. She tells the, the teller how much she wants. We both have to sign. I, I trust Kathy. I throw my autograph on there. So she, yeah. Kathy doesn't tell you what the money's for. She probably does, but okay. I do. I, I've got a really bad memory, or I just okay. I trust you. Like I do have a bad memory. Anybody will tell you. But you know, so uh, you know, until I sit down and and think about it and figure it out. If I knew it before, well, I'll figure it out. Yeah. But if I you know, it, 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 if I trust her, it's basically one ear or the other. It's like, you know, you married, trust your wife. Well, we'll leave me out of this one. Okay. <laughs> you know, but, but no, you, you don't have to answer yeah. that. But, you, you know, it's your spouse. She does the same for me. She no, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. My question is, does she then go to your bank, Dave Tuck, and deposit money in your bank for you? No. So you do she that? Do, she doesn't believe she can do that. So the cash deposits that you have done, Dave, yes. to Dave Tuck's personal account, yes. where has that money come from? It was probably come from Kathy. I want there to be to pay a- And Kathy doesn't have a job. 
So where's Kathy getting the money from? Well, it would be the Husky's account, right? Yeah. Do you think there's anything else we haven't covered? You've done great. You've done great. Like I said, like I said, Dave, you did not start this organization, and I don't believe for one minute you started this organization to say, "Hey, Kathy, let's do this and let's find some money and let's get ahead." Don't believe it. But don't believe not. it at all. We're further behind now than we'll ever be. But let's back up. You start this organization from here, right? Yes. From your heart. Yes. Right. And then, as time went on. You guys were in charge of the finances. Finances at home struggled, right? And a little bit of here, a little bit of there that people don't know about. Look how fast it adds up, right? <laughs> like I said, I just lost words. I don't that that amount just to like to floors me. I. I I can't believe that amount. Yeah. How much would you think of the amount we've talked to about here? So forty-one thousand thirty-two plus the nine. Let's stop at that for forty-one. How much of that do you think ended up with the tux? If you were to guess. Doesn't really matter what I guess. It's a, I have no way of proving it at this point. Well, there is proof here. There's, there's, there's a lot of oh, cash uh, oh, no, there, deposits into your account. And, and trust me, whether it's ten, ten dollars or thirty-two thousand dollars, forty-one thousand dollars, it's wrong. Okay. Doesn't matter how much. You know, I can't show you ten dollars. How am I? I doesn't matter. It's, it's it's beyond me. But you do agree that there's some, obviously, a lot. We just don't know the number. That is definitely from Nazi's account. I can't deny it. There's no way. Okay. And, and so, what do you think should happen to any person? who has inappropriately spent funds from a not-for-profit organization? Well, it's obvious that you never handle the funds for the non-profit organization ever again. Okay. Put in someone else's hands. Say I, I I hope to God that it doesn't kill the Huskies. Yeah. I hope to God we come through with this. You know, make things right. Yeah. You know, um, I, I can't work any more hours than I already am. Mm -hmm. No, I, you know, I have nothing of great value to sell to pay it back. So I'm gonna have to work it off. Um, but how much? How much? How much are you going to pay back? Well, like, I I can't offer up what you have on paper there. That's going to take me how many years? But you know, like, I don't know. I I, I you know, there, there's. I'd like to say under five, that amount that you have, you know. Can I, can I tell you something, Dave? One thing that worries me is this hockey tournament that you are proposing to have here in the city of Peterborough. I think you said, I read in the paper something about 80 teams possibly coming. Upwards, yeah. SHI has 80 teams. Uh, I think it's 47 different organizations all over the world. There's budgets and stuff? 
Yes, we there's have money. Budget. There's money passing hands and stuff like that. And we're talking for that. I mean, we're talking hundred fifty thousand dollars roughly. Yeah. Our budget. Yeah. We're talking uh, generated of almost upwards of two million dollars for the city community. Yeah, but that's not money that you would touch. No, neither neither side of it. Neither the hundred and fifty nor the. Um, okay, but. Someone will be touching that money because that money is going to come in as registration for the tournament, yes. and then that money is going to turn around and go to ICE, right? It's going to go to uh, the dance, the, the and closing ceremonies, ceremonies, all that okay, kind of stuff, exactly. right? Yes. Right. So that money is going to get touched. Yes. So that's we're talking, you know. We're talking a lot. Of, yeah. Yeah. Just under and a quarter million dollars. Yes, and. We are in the works of finding a uh, uh, um, bookkeeper um, account, sort of like for like, like most not for profits have, right? Yes, and, and we have, for that, so that we don't screw it up. Like we have our organization, we want an account to look after all. Yeah. Okay. But as it stands, with the you know just getting started, money hasn't started rolling in. If it has, it's you know in the account not coming out. It, 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 it's it's being run completely separate from the Huskies, and I need that to be out there. If we get if this gets out there, I, I'd like this not to get out there in the public, but it's going to be really difficult. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to be difficult keeping this from the public. Yeah, that's gonna that's what's going to hurt us. Yeah. And I, and I you know, like I said, I. For, for the community's sake and beyond me and everybody else, it, it doesn't hurt the term. Right. That's, you know, Huskies is priority one. Yeah. Straighten that out. Yeah. But to let them know that this has nothing to do like this, you know, the Huskies, you know, stay together and put on this tournament, rectify all our issues, make, you know, Whoever we can make them happy again. Yeah. However we do it, okay. but this this tournament will, uh, you know, I, I I don't want these kids, any kids, to go without because of us. That makes sense. That's you know this is me and Kathy's mistake. This is on us. It's not on anybody else in the Peter Rosky's organization, family, player. Coach, coach. Okay. any of them. Okay. This is not on them. Okay. And I don't. And, and now they look. And the tournament's completely separate from right. it. So I agree with you. I agree with you. You know, yeah. like I said, we we screwed up majorly. Um, to what total extent, I don't know. But yeah, I, I like to put it all on me. You know, I like to be. The, the sole one held responsible by the bosses and two of us. I know this is killing Kathy. Yeah. I know it's killing her. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 I'm going to be apologizing until the cows come home. Yeah. And I'm going to be paying until the cows come home. Yeah. But if that's what I got to do to make it right, then that's what I'll do. That's what I like to hear. It may take me a while. But I will so figure like, it out. So I'd like to hear, Dave. Well, I, like, it, yeah, it, it's like I'm talking to a parent right now. Mm -hmm. You support the Huskies, mm -hmm. okay? You don't support me. Right. You support the Huskies. Right. So not only do I have to answer to you, I have to answer to everybody else outside these walls. Mm -hmm. And I have to, uh, and I have to make it right. I don't know how everybody wanted me to make it right. Some people you'll never make it right. right. It's just it doesn't matter what you do or how you do it. Yeah. There's some people you'll never make it right to. Right. You're right. You're right. But even them, I will try. David, so that's, that's spoken like a true man. Exactly. That's that's, that's yeah. exactly what we're looking for. Well, that's, you know, what, what else can I say? Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, it, it, like I, I, I don't know how how I can get it out there. Yep. Yeah. To let people know that. Yeah. You know? This is our, you know, my screw up. Whether to say it's mine and Kathy's screw up, 
It's our screw up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not the Peter Brohaski screw up. Okay. Don't blame the Peter Brohaskis. It's not their fault. Okay. There's no way. And, and yeah, we are the founders. Yeah. If we have to sign off on just not only just banking, but as founders, you know, or president, vice president, or whatever of the Huskies, I mean, we can never sign off as founders. But if we can sign off everything and someone else looks after it all, uh, uh, it would break me to do that. Yeah. But for these, for them families mm -hmm. of the Peterborough Huskies, mm -hmm. to continue on doing what they're doing and the love of it, I'm willing to do that. Good for you. Because it's not their fault. Good for you, Dave. Hold on. Well said. It, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts to do this. Where is to say that if I have to do that? Sorry, I just never thought that they had. I thought I'd have to say that. That hurts the most. Right there. I'm sorry. I can't get that. Sorry, it's been 30 years since I cried. I, to lose these guys is unreal, unbelievable at this point. Unbelievable. All right. I hear you. And I think Kathy would be the blubbering idiot in here. Not me. myself I'd never do and that's lighted one of those things I just lighted it tonight. I promised myself I'd never do it. And something this stupid does it. So make it the last time then Dave. Make, right. make it that the last night you spend in that cell. I don't even want it to be the first night. I know. Okay. Yeah. 